Greetings, psychology students. Before we get into the treatment, we need to have a basic understanding of the condition. So a circadian rhythm disorder occurs when there's a misalignment between our desired sleep-wake cycle and our biologically driven circadian rhythm sleep-wake cycle. So we're either falling asleep too early and then waking up too early, or in this case, we're falling asleep too late and then we're not getting the adequate sleep required because we have to wake up too early in order to gear up for school. So a point of emphasis is delayed sleep phase syndrome is a type of circadian rhythm sleep disorder that occurs when there's a delay in the onset of sleep compared to the timing that is desired in order to be able to accrue the adequate hours of sleep required to function at best. So three key points of emphasis in terms of the use of bright light therapy in treating delayed sleep phase syndrome. Number one is we need to expose ourselves to a high intensity bright light. So if the sun is not an option early in the morning, depending on the seasons, then we go with a lamp. Second point is it needs to be sustained for 30 minutes or so in order to help reset the clock. And number three is the timing. So ideally, first thing in the morning. Now, when explaining how BLT works in treating delayed sleep phase syndrome, I think it's important to emphasize both the morning and evening effect. So first thing in the morning, the patient wakes up and they expose themselves to a high intensity bright light for 30 minutes or so. So that blue light is detected by light sensitive neurons in the retina, which then in turn signal the master body clock, the SCN, to reset the body clock. And what it does then, the SCN, is it directs the pineal gland to suppress the release of melatonin a bit earlier than it wants to. Now, by maintaining that early morning routine for several weeks, this helps shift the body clock forward by suppressing that melatonin earlier. And so therefore, prior to treatment, the melatonin was spiking after midnight, and now we've managed to shift the clock forward. And so now it, the melatonin is starting to spike. It's a couple of hours earlier. And so therefore, the payoff is the following day, Instead of the body being ready to wake up at, say, 10 a.m., now we're waking up at around 7 a.m., give, give, give or take, um, and therefore getting the amount of sleep required in order to function at our best.